Hi everyone, good afternoon. I want to start by apologising for the state of me. I haven't, it's been a rough morning. I haven't been able to do anything with my hair. Um, Mum had to dress me, so yeah. Um, so I've had a dystonia episode this morning um, and the residue of it is kind of both of my hands which isn't unusual but it's less usual for it to be both of my hands usually it's the left one but today it's decided to be both so I'm kind of doing everything with the tip of my thumb and my right index finger <laughs> um, but I really hate days where I can't use my hands properly because I can't make myself feel pretty, I can't... I just hate it. I can't do anything, I can't use my phone properly, I always make loads of mistakes when I'm texting people and it makes me want to scream. But I thought I'd attempt to do really simple makeup just so that I can make myself feel a little bit nicer. I'm not going to do eyeliner, I'm not going to put myself through that, but just very basic makeup to try and feel a bit nicer. I don't think I'll be able to do anything with my hair, which is annoying, but we work with what we can. <laughs> I don't know whether to put my splints on before doing my makeup or after, because they're kind of starting to ache now, because I haven't had my splints on at all so far today. But sometimes having my splints on restricts me more when I'm trying to like open things like this. So. Maybe I'll just try and be quick and put my splints on after, I guess. Um, so I've had a lot of people asking me if treatment is helping. Um, and I know it's probably a bit of a silly time to say this, but yes, this my new treatment plan has been working wonders for me. As a lot of you know, dystonia is a really, really common symptom of mine. Um, but since I've been on treatment, it's barely been there. I mean, this is my first dystonia flare-up in quite a long time. Um, and it used to be that it would come up and I'm going to use like one finger for this. Okay, I've decided to put this on to keep my hair out the way. Um, but it used to be that when I had dystonia, it would be, it would stay for like months and months and months. And um, it would be here like all the time. Um, whereas now it's literally every now and then and it doesn't last that long so my last dystonia that I had in my left wrist it stayed for four days um I don't know how long this will last it could only last today like who knows but there's been so so much improvement not just with dystonia but my mental health as well um my my conditions and the infections in my body such as Lyme disease Bartonella all that lovely stuff um, causes a lot of psychiatric issues which I've struggled with. It was my first ever symptom when I was a teenager was psychiatric issues that we thought was just normal mental health difficulties and you know it wasn't it turned out I had loads of infections in my blood um, and so since being on treatment my mental health has been a lot better. There's certain things that still affect my mental health like my legs have been affecting my mental health and my mood like quite a lot. Um, that's the one thing that treatment hasn't helped yet. My legs, my walking. Um, but my Lyme disease doctor said that we we're gonna focus on that next. I don't know what that means, but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> my seizures are also a much, much rarer occurrence. You guys know that is not something small. That is a really, really big deal. Seizures have been my biggest symptom since I was 16, 17. So um, that's, huge um help they're sort of like i literally say oh yeah i have like tonic clonic seizures every now and then whereas it used to be i have multiple tonic clonic seizures a day so this isn't just a small improvement that is massive that's a big deal for me um and my doctors are really really happy with the progress that's happening so yes I continue this treatment plan for another three months and then I have another review with my Lyme and infectious disease specialist doctor um, just to talk about everything, how it's going, if anything needs changing and just kind of a bit of a medication review and see where we're at. Um, I am still supposed to be having IVIG at some point in the future. Um, 
but at the moment we don't know when that will be. Although using a brush has kind of helped exercise my hand a bit, it's hurting so, so much, so I think I'm going to leave that there for now. You know, the really strange thing about my dystonia is that, um, all the, like, you know how I had loads and loads of blood taken in Poland so that they could see what was going on, what I would need treatment for, what the best medication would be, etc. Um, they're so, so in depth. I had so much feedback. We learned, I learned so much about what's going on in my body. Um, and I remember seeing that one of the levels was low or high, I can't remember. And so I looked up on Google what that meant, because obviously I want to understand what's going on with me a bit better and um, and like what symptoms that would cause and one of the first things that came up was unusual limb postures and I was like hmm interesting um, and it was just like everything when I got those bloods it was just like everything fell into place it was so validating to see that there was actually something going on after years of being told that there was nothing and that I was fine yeah, it's been a bit of a wild ride. Oh, they're getting really sore. I wonder if I can do this with my splints on. Let's put these on, because the longer I have them off, the worse it gets. I've had these splints for five years now, and they have been an absolute lifesaver. I love these splints so much. My, I started getting dystonia like five years ago, um, and so my dad got these for me and oh, it's just amazing. They've helped me so much. <laughs> my dad is cutting the grass. I often can't put these on myself. My mum or dad will usually help me, but sometimes I can depending on, I've kind of mastered how to do it so obviously i've been doing this for five years like i'm pretty experienced oh my god that is so much better the relief is amazing <laughs> um and of course i'm wearing purple today so i'm gonna put on my purple splint covers i get asked all the time where i got these from but um i didn't get them from anywhere my mum made them she didn't use a pattern obviously you just had to go off the shape of my splint and there's the thumb hole and everything um, my mum made them for me because I I don't really like the look of the splints. I, um, they kept ruining my outfits. <laughs> and like, you know, they're quite ugly. They're not very pretty. So mum had the idea to make these for me. I've got these purple like swirly ones. And then I've got like reddy, pinky, orangey ones as well. Um, but I wear these ones the most because I love purple. Like, look at that. Mm, it makes me feel like I've got superpowers or something. Okay, let's try and do this now that I've got the splints on. It should be much easier and steadier. Just make my eyes look a bit more alive. <laughs> oh, it's easy peasy. So much easier than being like this, trying to do it. My like arm muscles and everything are really aching. Um, I think my body is just really tired today. Also, this morning it wasn't just my wrists that were dystonic, it was my arms, my ankles, my feet, my toes, and my butt cheeks. <laughs> I'm quite used to that though. If, I am, if I'm ever having like a fully dystonic episode, my bum cheeks are always affected and it's so, so painful, usually more than like my feet. Like, if you just sit here right now and clench your butt cheeks as tight as you can and try and hold it for like 30 seconds, it really hurts. Now imagine doing that for like 45 minutes. And no outfit is complete without earrings, so I've put on these rabbit ones, which I've never actually worn before. They're not usually as big as I like my earrings, but you know, they'll do the job. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess that's how I get ready for the day with dystonia. I've done quite a few of these, but... Um... Yes, and a little update as well. The treatment is working and overall I am doing quite well. Have a good day.